You frightened me. I frightened you? Yes, why did you scream like that? Well, that's one way to get some attention around here. I never needed any attention that bad. Why don't we get some light on in here and tell everybody what's going on? Okay. This is a television studio. I'm Bing Bingham, and we're doing a show about television action and violence. And I'm Nan Lynn Nelson. We started this show in the most dramatic way we could think of, because that's how television works. Shows are designed to grab our attention and then to hold it. As part of storytelling, plots use action, humor, and sometimes violence. Considering our subject, this show should hold your attention. Most television programs open with an attention grabber. It's a way of getting you interested fast and keeping you tuned in. There's a lot of competition for your attention in television land. There are so many channels and they all want you to stay tuned. Well, that's the job of a broadcaster. It's okay, but we have to understand what's going on. Life isn't like TV where everything is either very funny or very sad or very exciting with few in-betweens. Television is certainly successful in holding our attention, but it doesn't do us any favor if we learn from it that the most fun in life comes from taking risks or winning fights. Yeah, but some of the action is real and part of life, and television shows us that. Take football. Now that's exciting. You're right. Sports are a natural for television. A game is built like a play. There's a beginning, a middle and an end. And it's fun to watch. Wow, they really nailed that guy. It's too rough for me. What do you mean? I love the action. Somebody could get hurt. Yeah, but these are highly trained athletes and they wear protective gear. And they're taught how to take the falls and the blocks without getting hurt. I worry about the kids who pretend they're big time quarterbacks and don't even have a helmet. There's another kind of violence on television. Newscasts often include violence because the news reports reflect the events that happened that day. And whether we like it or not, much news consists of unusual, angry, or violent behavior. But it's important to remember that the news that we see on television or read in the newspapers or hear on the radio isn't an accurate reflection of everything that happens in real life. The newscast must select those events which are important, unusual, or interesting. You'll never see a newscast report that breakfast in your house was fun this morning or that your dad took you and your friends to the movies. These events are just too ordinary to be called news, even though they happen far more often than a plane crash or a gun shooting. There are many kinds of action and adventure shows on TV, and many of them have violent scenes. But the kind of violence we see on make-believe programs is different from the violence we see on the news. We know that it's not real. I'm a gun for hire. Yeah! I'm a black belt and my hands are a lethal weapon. I can turn into a monster and defeat all attackers. I'm made of steel. Yeah! I'm a law enforcement officer. <laughs> But sometimes I think I'm a target and people want me for practice. Prepare to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Why pick on me? I'm just a pussycat. I thought you were a tiger. Take this. Oh, oof. And that. Oof. And this. Oof. Well, this is a show about television, so uh, we had to have a fight. Can I get up now? <laughs> I'm not really hurt. Actors in television fights don't get hurt because the fights are carefully rehearsed. Now, let's go over that fight slowly. First of all, the most important thing when you're staging a television fight are the camera angles and the actor's reactions. 
Now, from this camera angle, you'll be able to see that Nan's hands don't ever touch me. You ready, Nan? Mm -hmm. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Like that. Now, when we shoot the same fight from this angle, from behind Bing, and he adds his reactions and we throw in a few sound effects, it'll really appear as though we're having a real fight. Watch. Here we go. Okay. <coughs> Two. Oof. Three. Oof. <laughs> Television fights are just another kind of special effect, except they're done by actors and sometimes stuntmen and stunt women. Let's make believe this is a really dramatic show, and I'm going to get my revenge. Oh, he's so sweet. Always giving me flowers. Mm. I bet you're wondering why I didn't knock Nan out. Well, I used what we call a breakaway pot. Now, here's a breakaway bottle. Watch. Breakaway pots and bottles are fixed so that they break easily. They're not even made of clay, just a kind of spun sugar. Now, here's a breakaway chair. Wouldn't want one of those in my living room. All fights on television are staged and rehearsed. And when people are hit with something, it's usually light as a feather. Now, if this were a cartoon, my head would be split in half, and I would be talking to you from both sides of my mouth. We laugh at the darndest things when they happen in cartoons. But did you ever notice how quickly cartoon characters recover? It only takes cartoon characters a few seconds to bounce back from what for us would be the most horrible accidents. We almost never see the results of violence in cartoons or in real action television programs. Well, that's because the action takes place in a play world of entertainment. We should never confuse the pretend violence we see on television programs with the real pain, injury, and sorrow that violent behavior can cause in real life. We should point out that dramatic shows and comedies on television often show us how people solve problems without fists or guns. Yes, of course, and many important plays have been written about violent conflicts, but most of the time the writer lets us know that violence hurts and people are the losers. We can even learn how to solve problems by watching television. Yeah, and sometimes those solutions start with words like, um, I'm sorry. Or other words like, I didn't really mean to hurt your feelings when I... Or, I didn't know you cared so much about... Um, Try. I'm sorry I upset you. I really want to be your friend. Folks, it's the let's try to avoid a fight and make friends game. Can we find a way to be friends? I mean, it's silly for us to be fighting all the time. Gee, you know, I'm really sensitive about certain things. I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I like the sound of that one. <laughs> Usually the simplest, most honest statement of how you feel is the best. People do disagree and quarrel. Sometimes even best friends get into arguments, and that's okay. You need to be able to disagree with people. But we don't go around clunking people we disagree with on the head. It may seem funny or exciting or it might even tickle your interest, but the television action way of solving problems is not the way most people in real life solve theirs. In our everyday world, the people who solve problems with guns and fists and reckless driving end up in prisons or in hospitals. And that's not for me. Or me either. Living in the real world is too much fun. And so is watching television. If you use your head. Bye, Bye. now.